Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to wrap and package up this vintage Wilson, I think it was a 2500 um, iron tennis racket. So even though it's iron and I'm not, you know, I don't have to put a bunch of bubble wrap on it. And I've got it laying across my big sheet of bubble wrap. Because this is what I used to wrap when I sold bows, hunting bows. I use this big bubble wrap. So I'm going to fold it over like that and then fold this side over like that and tape it up and I'll have the whole wrap, rack, racket taped up real quick. Hold on. Okay, so as you can see there, I just used my eBay tape and did one loop all the way around the racket head. And then I took the excess bubble wrap and kind of wrapped it around the handle here and taped it all up and put some bubble wrap on this end to protect the bottom where it has the Wilson symbol. Because this was this racket was in like excellent condition, so I don't want anything to be banged up in transit. So then I'm just going to flip this over like this and tape it down. So hold on just a second. Okay, so as you can see here, I folded that excess flap of bubble wrap down and taped it all down and I taped down this side because that was where the two pieces were connected so everything will stay together nice and transit so now it's just to make us a Franken box because I am not sure what method I was going to use to ship this and I can't remember what I selected so hold on let me let me look real quick okay so I just went out to my garage and started digging around and this is the biggest box I can find so, <coughs> I'm going to start cutting this box down, like cut the sides off on here and here to make it longer. Then I'm going to cut, like, the top half off of the box or cut the flaps off and make new flaps. I'll show you my process as I go along. So, as you can tell, I can cut this box apart. And Ryan came home just in time to help me kind of trim the box down. And so now he's making a perforated line across the top. So that that tar top part will fold down like a flap. Okay. And then that side will fold down like a flap. And then all I have to do is to fill, put in a piece of cardboard on this side. To fill that, and then all we have to do is perforate this part here, like that, all right. and then that'll fold up and flap over, and we'll be almost done with our Franken box. What? With our Franken box? Franken box. That's what my reseller friends call it when you're cutting a box down to make your own box. You're kind of Franken boxing it, like the, like the crazy doctor that built Frankenstein. Franken box. Like nope. That. Yep. You can actually flap it on the inside. Put the flap on the inside. Probably. Perfect. See, now I just need one. Need to cut a piece of cardboard now and fit there, tape right here and the taper all down. Tape, tape, piece tape there first. Okay. Hold on a second. Is there a hole on this side? Oh yeah, I got to fill in the cardboard on that that end, like it's over here. It's open. Okay, let me get the cardboard to put in there, and then I'll tape her all down. Okay, so I almost forgot to stuff the tennis racket box with some paper to keep it from bouncing around while it's in transit. So I'm just shoving paper up in there, and then I cut a piece of cardboard to fit that side, and I'm going to flip it up and tape it all together. I'm going to put some more paper in there first. 
Okay, so as you can tell, I cut two, put two pieces of cardboard together to make that whole one complete side. And I've taped it from the sides like this. I've taped the edges to stay together like that. And then I'm going to do that on this one, this side, that side, and that side at the end. Okay, so this is the end of my packaging. I've got the box all taped up all the way around. I just taped that in because that piece didn't really want to fit in there right, so I just taped that all up. And taped it here, taped it this way to keep those two parts of the boxes together. Of course, tape all the corners because I had to cut the corners and stuff, so taped all the edges like that. And the same on this side, taped all the edges up. So, yep, she's good to go, and we'll print, put the label on her and send her out. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, how-to video on how to ship, package, and ship a tennis racket. And please give me a thumbs up for my video. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Just as a side note, I just put the box on my uh, food scale here, and it weighs two and a half pounds. Okay, so I just hit the uh, print label for this package, and it was $7.98 to ship these ten this tennis racket. And the buyer paid $9.99, so I think that's a good price. So please give me a thumbs up on my video on how to pack and ship a tennis racket. Thanks, guys.